From WPTV News Channel 5, it's Slay Your Day with T.A. Good morning, everybody. It is T.A. Walker from Taste and Seesaw, Florida, here at WPTV News Channel 5. Got my Starbucks coffee uh, ready to go, my Today Show mug. Um, make sure you guys say where you're watching from in the comments, and I'll give you a shout out. Uh, lots going on this weekend, lots of fun events I can't wait to tell you about. If you have events that aren't on my list, because I can only put five on the five fun things list, you can definitely put it in the comments, and we'll share it with the with the group. Uh, so there you go. Uh, first one I want to tell you about is the um, what's happening today. Uh, at Twisted Trunk Brewery. It's the night for the natural areas. And what they do is each year, I think this is the sixth annual event, they release their Loxahatchee lager using local honey, local oranges. It's really crisp and perfect for a summer, um, <clears throat> for summertime, for all this heat. To date, they've donated $19,000 to all of Palm Beach County's natural areas. And um, the event costs $25, which gets you a ticket, it gets you a free beer, and it gets you a, a, a raffle ticket, rather, and then food from Food Shack, which is so, so good. Oh my gosh, there are so many of you here. <clears throat> Hi, Dee Dee in Wellington. Good morning to you. Andrea in Port St. Lucie. Hello. Angela in PSL. Oh, you're saying hi. Oh, those are two. Okay, there you go. Andrea and then Angela. Uh, Ellen, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Make sure you take care of Lucky Ellen, uh, Andy's dog. He's he's uh, on the mend. Uh, Bonnie, Hope Sound. Good morning, Bonnie. Christy from Boynton Beach. Hi. Phyllis, good morning. Hi, Cindy from Jupiter. That's where I live, Cindy. Uh, Royal Palm Beach. Hi. Good morning to Chris, uh, Christopher. Another Jupes. Lori, good morning. Amy in Loxahatchee. Good morning. Roxanna, hello from Oklahoma. That's a great, that you're so far, you're the furthest away. Uh, good morning in Boca Raton to you. Nadina, is, I think is pronouncing it correctly. Good morning, Robert from Boynton Beach. Jana, good morning from Boynton Beach. Justin, good morning from Michigan. Judy, good morning to you in Georgia. Gloria Pahokie, good morning. And uh, that's out in Belle Glade. I guess is it Pahokie or Belle Glade? Well, <laughs> are you in both places? Uh, Kimberly, hi. Uh, Danita, hello from Fort Pierce. Kale, hello from Tallahassee. Uh, Mary, good morning. Tanya, good morning from Deerfield Beach. Linda, good morning from Okeechobee. Kimberly, hello in North Palm. And Debbie, hello from Vero. And Teresa, good day. Buenos dias. Uh, hola to you. <clears throat> so let's move on to our second event. Um, not the Dave Matthews Band. Start Me Up. It's a Rolling Stones tribute band, which is Poetic and seemingly appropriate since we lost the uh, their drummer, Charlie Watts, this week. They're going to have two shows. One's going to be tonight in Lake Park at the Kelsey Theater at 8. And one's going to be tomorrow at Tradition Square in Port St. Lucie. You can get information about like ticket prices because they're all different and uh, all that kind of information by clicking the link in this um, uh, article. Now, check this out. They definitely have the sights, the sounds, the moves. So that should be a lot of fun. Let's sing along to that tonight. Let's go say hi to some folks. All right. Mary, hello from Vero. Yo, Art. Patty, hello from Jupes. Chaplin, good morning from Jupes. Lots of Jupes this morning. Uh, Debbie, good morning from Satellite Beach. Jerry's in, out in Royal Palm checking in this morning. Ruth in Cape Coral. Hi, how are you? Uh, yes, absolutely, Debbie. Uh, Rip Charlie. Um, Great drummer, been in the band since the 60s, I believe. Jack, have a great and enjoyable weekend, TA. Thank you so much, appreciate that. Why did they put you in a closet today? <laughs> this is actually my office. It's the old control room for Channel 5. I don't know if you can see the screens up there. And so I like it because nobody will bother me. I can, and I have ADD a little bit. Like I get distracted by all the chaos in the newsroom from the breaking news. I'll just start watching people, uh, you know, get information and I, I, I get lost in the moment. So I, I like being in the closet as it were. UltraCon is coming back to the South Florida fairgrounds. It is uh, Palm Beach County's largest comic con. It's featuring gaming tournaments, cosplay contests, vintage toys, celebrity guests and comic book artists at the South Florida Fairgrounds. Tickets are $25 for today and $20 for Sunday. And then we're gonna go over to Burgers, Brew, Blues and Brews. Now this band that's playing there today is Jake and the Elwoods Blues Review. It's the only um, 
cover band for the Blues Brothers that is sanctioned by the Belushi estate and Dan Aykroyd, which is really cool. Uh, it's going to be there today from 3 to 8 p.m. Uh, obviously, they're going to have beer. They're going to have burgers. Uh, 97.9 WRMS Virginia from the KVJ show is going to be there emceeing the event. So that should be a lot of fun. She's always a hoot. Uh, so enjoy that. Let's see what we got. Thank you, Justin. I really appreciate that. Carol, the closet, laugh out loud. Art, ah, much better, laugh out loud. Lisa, hello from West Palm Beach. Uh, good morning, Rachel from, uh, good morning, TA from Lantana. Good morning, thank you. Good morning from Delray Beach. <clears throat> and then have a great weekend, says Debbie. Thank you so much. Uh, I will show you the turtle release uh, that we experienced this week in just a moment. You wanna stick around for that because it's a, it's a really cool video. We What we did is we went and captured the intake of a loggerhead turtle that was severely injured and near death to its release this week. Her name's Olympia, and I'll show you that video in just a moment. Um, and then we also have this week's Hidden Gym. So uh, those things are coming up. Um, oh, it's coming up right now. So here's today's Hidden Gym. I forgot about this until Suzanne Boyd, she used to be an anchor here in town, a news anchor, and she posted something about Sunday House on her Facebook because they're one of her clients now. And I was like, oh, that really truly is a Hidden Gym. Sunday House is perfect for special occasions like a wedding proposal disguised as a marketing photo shoot. He planned it with my mom where I didn't even know my mom was gonna be here. We set it up where she thought we were just doing a photo shoot for marketing for the for the Sunday house. I did first. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped back like five feet and then I was like, I was very surprised. Krista says being proposed to at Sunday house was like being in a magical fairy tale. The secret garden, it's very enchanting and you felt like Cinderella that day when I turned around, he was on one knee. Candace was one of the photographers in on the secret engagement, and she says she loves suggesting Sunday House to her clients. You cannot take a bad photo here. There are so many spots that are just incredible from the pool to the gazebos. I mean, anywhere you shoot, it is just absolutely amazing. Sunday House was built in 1902 by the first mayor of Delray Beach, John Sunday. That's why it's called Sunday House and not Sunday, which a lot of people confuse it with because we have a delicious Sunday brunch. Yeah, raw oysters on the half shell. They have a cheese, a little cheese area set up, meat and cheese board, charcuterie. And also bottomless, you know, all the champagne, mimosa, Bloody Mary, frosé all the things. Sunday House is much more than brunch, bamboo gardens, streams, waterfalls, and koi fish ponds. You can also stay the night. We have 11 very unique rooms. Um, some of them are cottages, meaning they have full kitchens, a whole living room area. There is also a very affordable happy hour and nightly dinner service. It's historic, it's beautiful, it's tropical, it's right in downtown Delray Beach. There's nothing like it in Palm Beach County. Uh, if you just drive by, you almost don't know it's here. And it, like she said, it's pretty magical. The yeah. food's fantastic, drinks are great, and service is phenomenal. So yeah. I, I can't say enough about it. Now there's about a hundred hidden gyms. They're on an interactive map. You can find it by going to WPTV.com slash hidden gyms. Also, there's a form there if you have a suggestion that you want us to check out. Now that brunch we were telling you about starts at 1030 every Sunday and runs till 5 p.m. In Delray Beach, T.A. Walker, WPTV, News Channel 5. Yeah, so you can get, if you have a hidden gym that you want to add to our list, you can definitely go to WPTV.com uh, slash hidden gyms and there's a form there. Uh, oh my God, where are their masks? Well, they're engaged to each other. How dare they? I can't believe, oh, you're being sarcastic. I can't believe Channel 5 has posted something aside from COVID-19 fear mongering. Well, that's such a nice opinion. That's literally my job is to not post about COVID-19, but thanks for bringing it up because that did the opposite. See what you did there? Oh, that's great. Um, also, uh, this was really cool. I wanted to do this project for so long. Uh, I w like we always see the turtles released. It's always so much great footage. Uh, but we never, ever uh, see the intake of a patient at Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach to the discharge. Like, so we followed Olympia and she's spelled E-A-U Olympia, like O Palm Beach Resort. Like, so they sponsored this turtle and they uh, donated cash uh, to put a transponder on her. So each year they sponsor a tur turtle and this year it was Olympia. Here's her story, start to finish. This isn't your typical morning swim. It's a homecoming for Olympia, a sub-adult loggerhead sea turtle, after a three-month stay at Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach. 
She was found floating in a marina in Stewart, underweight and in poor health. Olympia is here for chronic debilitation treatment. That's a fancy way to say she's not absorbing her food. Part of the treatment is lowering the water in Olympia's tank, much lower than the other turtle patients. So we don't want her to expend unnecessary energy to surface to breathe. Twice a day, she's taken out of her tank, placed on a gurney to the veterinarian hospital at Loggerhead. Turtle patients with this condition are near death. They're essentially starving to death, and they have depleted virtually everything out of their system. They've burned up all the fat, they're burning all the protein in their muscles, they're absorbing calcium out of their bones that, that weakens everything. If you take a look around the head and shoulder area, the, the muscles are all sunken in. Uh, they're usually covered in barnacles and an algae, all sorts of uh, epibiota that indicates they haven't been swimming very much in the wild. Dr. Charlie Manier, who friends and colleagues finally called Dr. Charlie, developed a treatment to get the digestive system in turtles like Olympia working again. Now the therapy she's getting now is called uh, Total Parenteral Nutrition, TPN. And so TPN is simply the delivery directly into the bloodstream of the building blocks of nutrition. Our goal is to put those building blocks back in the turtle so that they can start to heal and uh, give them a chance to, to then survive. The treatments take about 40 minutes. It's uh, kind of walking a, a fine line, keeping them out of the water long enough to get this into them, but not keeping them out of the water so long that, that gravity affects their internal organs and everything else. Dr. Charlie's treatment is now used globally. It's really rewarding to, for us to be able to say, look, you know, something that was developed here by Dr. Charlie, who's like the godfather of sea turtle medicine, uh, is now shared around the world. 90% of animals were lost prior to the development of this therapy. And with the introduction of this therapy, uh, over 90% um, are able to be saved and returned back to the wild. A month after treatment, you can see Olympia is making headway. So Olympia has made terrific progress since the last time you've been here. She's off TPN, she's gaining a lot of weight, uh, eating on her own. So really, she's going according to script. And the progress continues. Next steps are to increase her diet incrementally, as she takes it, uh, get more weight on her. Now, three months later, she goes home. Today, we, uh, we're really excited to uh, release Olympia back home to the wild. She swam home um, into the big blue with a satellite tag applied to her carapace, to her top shell. One of the best parts, seeing the smiles as she makes her way back into the ocean. You know, it's, it's a fairly universal thing that we see. It doesn't matter, it, cut, it cuts across demographics and ages and everything, and people are just in absolute wonder. It's, it's like watching something very primordial, you know, something like from the very beginning of, of the earth, really, and seeing a creature return back home that's an ancient creature, um, that's healthy again, that's, you know, into the surf so naturally, um, I think it just kind of brings us together as a community uh, that much more. Olympia is being tracked by an expensive mechanism for the next six months that was donated by her namesake, O Palm Beach Resort. O is French for water. And you can follow her on her adventures by going to WPTV.com's Protecting Paradise section. In Juno Beach, T.A. Walker for WPTV News Channel 5. I just love this story. Okay. <laughs> It is such a great story, um, and we did go, get to meet Dr. Charlie, and um, Dr. Charlie uh, is just announced that he's going to retire. Um, he is what they, I think it, you heard in the piece, the godfather of loggerhead turtles. Um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's his, the things he's developed for um, sea life, the procedures to help them get back to health is vast and they they share their information with uh, hospitals all over the world and it, it's crazy that procedures that are developed here in Juno Beach are there to help everyone uh, all throughout the world all the turtle hospitals and Dr. Charlie has been key in that and he did just announce his retirement so we're gonna miss Dr. Charlie he's definitely a cool guy um, yeah, what a beautiful story. You're welcome. Yeah, we were so happy to be able to bring that 
uh, to you guys here today. Uh, if there's nothing else, I'm going to say goodbye and have a great weekend, everyone, uh, because stay safe and be nice to everyone. Just be nice. Slay Your Day can be found in the WPTV app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, or Android TV. Plus on the Taste and See South Florida Facebook page and the WPTV free mobile app. Okay. Okay.